Okay, everybody. How's it going? I just picked a whole bunch more of uh, these wild onions. And what I'm going to do is clean these all up, and they are dirty. It is not nice outside either. It's been raining all day, windy, and they're easy to dig out. But now they're all muddy and I'm going to have to clean them. And what I'm going to do after I clean them is pickle them. And make sure they're all clean and whatnot. And what I think I might do too is with the greens, I'm going to cut these greens off and dehydrate them and put them in a food processor and use it as a seasoning. I'm going to clean these all up, then I'm going to sterilize some pint jars, and eventually, either today or tomorrow, or when I have time, I'll put these in the fridge, and I'll pickle them. Pickling should take about 7 days, 7 to 14 days. So I'm going to clean these all up. I'll show you what I'm do gonna do is sterilize the jars and go from there. It's a timely process cleaning all these onions. Gotta get all the dirt off. The outside skin. Rinse the, the leaves off. I wanna try to keep doing more stuff like this in the outdoors. Uh, like I, I have in my bio, on my page, the, hopefully maybe spike an interest in someone to do something like this. Either hunting or fishing, trapping, foraging. I can't explain how much I love the outdoors. I have no words for it. And good thing for you two because I can share all of this stuff with anybody around the world actually. Okay, I got these onions all cleaned. What I'm going to do now is just cut the stems off, or leaves off, and I'm going to go ahead and do all these up here, and after I'm done cutting them, I'm going to go ahead and put them in the jar. Alright, now I have all the onions cut up, put into the jars, and the amount of onions I had, I didn't think I'd fill up only two jars. So I cut the recipe in half for the brine. So what I'm going to do is take two cups of vinegar, one te teaspoon of pickling salt, quarter cup of sugar, and a tablespoon of pickling spice. Bring it to a boil. Let everything dissolve the salt, sugar, and turn the burner off and let it cool until like a half hour or so, and then pour it into the jars.
Well, it's come to a boil, and I think I'm going to turn the burner off and let it sit and cool for about a half hour. Then I'll come back and dump this brine into the two jars of onions that I have. All right, while the brine is cooling on the stove, should be pretty close to being ready to pour into the jars. I want to take a second to thank my subscribers for, for watching and hitting the like button and commenting, asking questions. It's kind of neat. And if I feel like I'm gaining some friendships, you know, just commenting on other channels and things like that. Gaining friendships like people from South Carolina, Alaska, Minnesota, Canada, northern part of Canada. It's just fun doing this thing. Filming, editing, things like that. So it's it's been a pretty fun ride so far. I've just seen the subscribers bump up a little bit here and there, but... It's fun. I really enjoy it. So thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. Leave a comment, like, share, and hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. I got, I'll got. i probably do another video too. I want to dehydrate the, the leaves from the wild onions, leeks, ramp, whatever you want to call them. So that'll be on the next video. Well, I think the brine has cooled off enough for me to pour into the, the jars. And I'm kind of hoping that I don't make a big mess either. Because I really don't want to clean up a big mess. So here it goes. Hey, so far so good. All right, what happened was I shouldn't have cut the recipe in half. I had to make another batch. I didn't have enough, so I'm going to pour the, the second batch of brine in here. I add a little bit of, of dill to each one of these just for a dill flavor. Okay, as you all know that I like to tell jokes. Yeah. Of course, I've got another one. Last week at work, I ended up breaking my finger. Oh, did it hurt? But on the other hand, I'm okay. <laughs> How do you like that one? Did it bring a smile to your face? I sure hope it did. <laughs> Enjoy the little things.